There for Vooch is saying looking at next year. Remember, this is a Bulls team that had a four-year playoff drought. Lonzo Ball missed the last 42 games with that knee injury. Then you get to the postseason. Alex Caruso, uh, concussion protocols out. And then Zach Levine, your second leading scorer, out with an injury as well. So, or COVID protocols, rather. So, Smitty, looking forward to Chicago, a lot of positives from this season. Yeah, it is. Uh, this season was, uh, I, I think, amazing for the Chicago Bulls, the way they played. Uh, they had some issues with health and safety, then the injuries like you talked about. But, I mean, DeMar DeRozan, what I love was Zach Levine was still able to be Zach Levine with another guy coming over scoring as much. Those two guys are pretty much wing players. They play the same position. They're both guys that kind of ball dominant, but also could play with each other. And I thought it was a great combination having Lonzo Ball playing with them with Bucevic. Patrick Williams was out when they were going through their run. I wish they could have had him, but it comes down to what happens with Zach Levine. Do they get a chance to sign and trade him? Do they try to keep him? If they just lose him for nothing, I think this sets Chicago Bulls back. It's a great point that you make coming back to you on this because Zach Levine has been very public about, hey, this is the first time in my career that I'm an unrestricted free agent because he signed as a restricted free agent before. Can you break down from a player's standpoint what might be on his mind about his future in Chicago? It's in, it's, his future is in his control. A lot of times, obviously, when we're traded, uh, restricted free agent teams, the teams that you play for, they match. But this is the first time his future is in his control, so he probably wants to explore all options, and he has that right. Uh, the Chicago Bulls allowed him to get to this point. Usually a lot of organizations don't, don't allow a player to become an unrestricted free agent. They have, so they have to wait and see. No, I mean, they have the two dynamic wings. It'll be hard to replace a guy like Zach Levine through free agency. You may have to try to go young and do it through the draft. But I, I like their core. When you got a selfless point guard like Alonzo Ball, he's not a score first guy. He'd rather see other guys get off. That's somebody you want to play with. So even if Zach decided to go somewhere else, he's looking like, man, I just had one of my most productive seasons playing alongside DeMar DeRozan and Alonzo Ball. So am I going to go to a contender or I want to do what I have did in Chicago my entire career? So that will be the decision.